تبين لهم أنه الحق الحمد لله الذي أرسل رسول بالهدى والدين الحق لينذر على دين كل وكفى بالله شهيدا وأشهد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد Every story has a wisdom Every calamity has a wisdom Every blessing there's a wisdom behind it We need to take the knowledge from it and every story has a wisdom behind it. Today I'm going to narrate to you a story of a sheikh called Sheikh Hamid. This sheikh was a sahir, was a magician before. I decided to take this story because it's very, very important for the people to know. He narrates, he was nine years old and he was eager to become a big, big sheikh. And he was from the Sufi sect of Qadiriya. So he pushed himself, pushed himself, pushed himself until he knew how to memorize the Quran. He went until he became Qutb. Qutb in the Sufi sect, Qutb is somebody who is very high. There's only four Qutb. The one who rules the north, the one who rules the south, and the one who rules the east and the west. For east, north, south and west four qutubs now he was a magician he says how do i use to do magic and how does magician do magic how do they do magic on the individual that's my main topic he says the enemy who is far away comes to him and the enemy who is closer to you comes to him and the end and your friends come to him but he says the enemy who is very closer to you in your own house a more dangerous enemy than any another enemy because this one you think he's from the loved one and he you trust him you think he's okay but in fact he is plotting and want to destroy you the enemy plans and goes to the magician. The reasons are always wicked reasons. Either you are blessed beauty, blessed wealth, blessed the way you walk, blessed because you are achieving higher in your grades in school, blessed because you have a higher job, blessed because you married a nice wife or you married a nice husband. The enemy does not agree with that because this is from Allah all. And he goes to magician. The magician, first thing he does is ask your mama's name and your name and your date of birth. Why your mama's name is because your mama's name is the original factor that if you trace somebody from the dad or the mother, the mother is always 99%. There is always guarantee that anyone will say that is the son of that woman or that is the daughter of that woman. Everyone will say, but the father, there's always a doubt. But alhamdulillah to Islam that Allah has made us get married halal way and everything. So they use mother's name because of the guarantee of a son of so-and-so or the daughter of so-and-so. But also they can do it on the father. They can do it through the father and the son or the father and the daughter. But most of the time they use the mother because of the guarantee, the assurance and they start calculating the time you came. Is it Dhuhr? Or is it Fajr? Or is it Isha? Or is it Maghrib? Or is it Asr? And they put together. And they start calculating which day it is, the week, the hour, and the month. Put it together. And they start calculating because magic has only four sources. The fire, the air, the water and the dust. So they calculate the fire, they start. They don't get answer, they go to the dust. They don't get answer, they go to the air. They don't get answer, they go to the water. They get answer and they ask the individual to come on certain date and bring some of your stuff. Now, when they bring the most common thing 
they use and they have very strong effect it is the hair in the private part like sheikh hamid say kathirun marbutin majority of them have got knots from the hair and the hair of the private parts they use it kata they put several knots 20 knots 30 knots 50 knots and they do their job if they cannot get the head hair from the private part they use the hair from the armpit if they cannot get the hair from the armpit they use the hair from the head i remember a story of one brother he was a pakistani brother they used the hair from the head and they destroy him somebody went and massage his head and took his hair if they don't get access to the hair of the private part the armpit the hair the beard any another hair sufficient if they cannot access to that they use your nails if they cannot access to that they use your bra your underwear your t-shirt vest if they cannot get access to that they use your cloth any another cloth picture the list goes on now once they get all these they put it together once they put it together the individual they give him a date again he comes back to them and they tell him now is the time to sacrifice now this individual think this person is going to is a sheikh is going to sacrifice to to Allah Rabbul Izza but in fact this individual is not sacrificing to Allah Rabbul Izza Rabbil Jalal wal Ikram he's not he's sacrificing for the jinn and the blood is haram what is he going to do with the blood is going to use to write his chanting his whatever crazy stuff he's doing and the me is going to go and throw it either in the river in the lake in the in the sea in the garden in the park in the trees for who full jinns um shaitans now once he's done dot he takes it now if it's from the water he ties it with a brick and throw it in the beer well or he throw it in the sea in the river in the lake but he put a brick on it or a st- something strong so he goes and sings it doesn't come up just like muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when they did magic on him sallallahu alaihi wasallam they throw it in the well so if they found it you're from the water that's what they do throw it in the well in the river in the lake in the reservoir in the sea but they will make sure it sinks no one can see it now if they found out it is from the dust they go and bury it bury where in the graveyard or any another place underneath the tree anywhere they just bury it that you cannot see again now if you found out that you have a connection with the air they burn it in the air and it disappears in the air smoke they smoke and they do whatever they do and they blow and they blow and they blow until they do it to you they get to you if it's from the fire they burn it now so it disappears totally you can't find it now when all this has been done or while he's doing he calls for the jinns he gets the jinns assist they assist him with the job now the weakest of the weakest of the jinn comes to the magician they took the task to go and possess the individual they go all the way near to the person now there's two persons one who prays five times salah and one who does not pray five times salah now the one who does not pray when the jinns who have been assigned to do this job they go pom and they possess the one who prays five times hold adhkar morning evening what happens to him they come to him when they getting closer to him they cannot see him they hear the voice but they cannot see they go back to the magician and they told the magician we cannot see the person we went to him but we cannot see him we saw him from far and then he disappears we can't see he sends married jinn married jinn goes the person prays five times read the cards read the quran the married get closer to the individual the individual disappears he hear the voice but he disappears boom you can't see the married go back to the magician and he say i went i saw the individual but when i get closer he disappeared boom i could not see they send ifrit now when they send ifrit ifrit comes closer to you until when he is reaching near you he see angels protecting you 
Allah confirms it in the Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لهم معاقبات من بين يديهم من خلفهم يحفظونهم يحفظونهم من أمر الله الله رب الجلال والإكرام sends angels to protect the individual from the front and the back by his permission. Ifrit sees the angels, he flees, he goes back to the magician. The individual who hold tight to the salah and the adhkar, Allah assigns angels to protect him front and back. And the Ifrit goes back and says to the magician, I can't because this person has angels protect him. And the magician asks, are you not from the angels? He says, yes. But I'm from the lowest of the lowest of the angels. These angels come are very high angels. We need to find a different solution. Subhanallah. Look at the lies. And the magician now assigns two devils. Khanzab wa Walahan. Khanzab is to give waswas in the udu. Walahan is to give waswas on the time of salah. Just to cause confusion. Because once you start making mistakes of your adhkars, of your salahs, of your udus, the angels automatically goes because you start adding things there. You becoming a transgressor. So these jinns too, shaitan jinns, are assigned to do that job. So you become confused. But Allah Rabbul Izza says in the Quran, Man whoever Allah has guided, no one can misguide. They come and do the task, they cannot do it anymore and they go back to him, to the magician again. They say, this man is tough. There's nothing we can do. And what does he do? He assigns another devil to speak to the Karim. He goes and does something to the Karim. Just like a few weeks back, I said, I've downloaded the black magic of the Karim. So they go and deal with the Karim. And the Karim will tell them, that will give them the opportunity when you are down and when you are up. But if the Karim, they cannot find anything from the Karim, then they take it forward and they do it on the Karim. And Allah knows best. Look at the extent they do. They started from the weak jinn to Marit, Marit to Ifrit, Ifrit to Walahan and Khazab, the most wicked of the wicked devils. From the Walahan and Khazab, they go to a Karim just to get to you. They want to destroy you through the Karim. But they cannot. Why? Because of the Salah, five times you pray. Because of the Adhkar. Because of your Aqeedah. Because of your Tawheed is sound. Because you read Adhkar morning, evening. Shaykh al-Islam says, the Adhkar of morning and evening is stronger than the wall of Ya'juj wa Ma'juj. Why? Because the Adhkar of morning and evening is Allah assigns you angels to protect you. The angels who don't shift, they're there to protect you from any devil. Now, if you're not praying, the task becomes so easy for the magician. But if you pray, he will never get closer to you. If you have any jinn there who is worrying you, Wallahi thumma wallahi, you pray five times. You read that card morning, evening. You do all the good things. You seek istighfar. You stay away from any haram. Allah will make your life easy and blessed. Allah says, Man amala saliham min dhakari wa unta wa huwa mu'minu fala nuhiyanahu hayatan tayyiba. Whoever does righteous deeds is from man or woman and he believes will make him live a beautiful life. Now, you believe, but you're not holding tight to your beliefs. You're not holding to the contract of Allah Rabbul Izzah. How can you be protected when you don't read Salah, when you don't do Adhkar? How can your protection come? When you re rely upon Ta'weez in the neck, while that Ta'weez comes from the devil, the one who wants to harm you. Eh? You put that in your neck, and the enemy goes and tells the magician, I need to harm this person. The devil will be laughing. This is a very easy task. This is an easy job you give him and goes and pounds and that destroys it. But you pray five times. You do a car morning, evening. You read your Quran. You ask Allah to protect you. You give charity. You give sadaqah. No shaitan will come closer to you. Shaitan will fear. But if you don't do that, you pray one day, you live one day. 
You read morning, you don't, you don't read in the evening. Shaitan will never leave you. Imam Hassan al-Basri says, the shaitan looks at the individual, the believing man. If you see the man, the Muslim who is wobbly, he will stay hard on him until he remove him from his religion. If the individual is steadfast, shaitan will just go away. This is the state of the magicians and the state of the Muslims. Trust me, wallahi thumma wallahi. If you do five times salah, adhkar morning, evening, no harm will come to you. No absolutely harm. This story was taken from Sheikh Hamid. And every story has a wisdom behind it. It is very important. That's why I narrated to you. How do the magician do the magic? If you have any question or there is anything you want to ask, you want help, there's an email right in the end of the, this video. And in the description, I will leave the email as well and the phone number. Get in touch, inshallah. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروا فإنه هو الغفور الرحيم